Hi, in this video I am going to show you my modification of Korg Monotron Delay which allows for controlling the Monotron with standard Eurorack CV voltages. The modification is an interface board which accepts pitch, gate and filter cutoff signals and translates them and connects them onto the Monotron internal PCB. Furthermore, the interface board allows for USB power uh, and also it routes the Monotron internal LFO out so it can be used by another device. In this video, all the sounds that you will hear are generated purely by the Monotron itself. I'm just using Microbrute uh, to generate the control voltages. Now uh, I'm going to go over the working of the interface board. So if you're not interested in that, skip to the demo part of this video. The standard Eurorack control voltage for pitch starts at zero volts for the lowest note and increases by one volt per octave. However, the internal Monotron VCO works on 0.44 volts per octave instead. Furthermore, most of the op amps inside the Monotron use a bias voltage of 1.35 volts um, as a negative reference instead of the ground. Furthermore, most of the op amps use a bias voltage of uh, 1.35 volts for their negative voltage reference instead of the ground. So the pitch CV needs to start at this amount as well. Actually, C0 starts at this value, 1.35 or something. Another difference is the gate. Since the, the only way to normally operate the Monotron is using a touch strip, the gate is not really needed as the signal is physically connected upon touching the strip and disconnected upon releasing the touch strip. However, this is not the case with standard pitch control voltages which remain the same throughout, whether you're pressing the key or not. So for example, if you press C, uh, the pitch CV is always the same, the one for C, it's just that the gate went from uh, zero to one when I pressed it, and then from one to zero when I released it. Because of this, I implemented a gate controlled enable for uh, the interface board which lets the pitch CV to pass through when the key is pressed and the gate is one, but it uh, pulls the pitch CV, uh, the control voltage to ground when the key is released. Now, there is electrical difference between the high impedance present uh, when you're not touching the touch strip and the signal pulled to ground coming from the inter interface board when I'm not pressing the key, but because of how the monotron works internally, the effect is the same. Essentially, the, the pitch signal inside the monotron is connected to the threshold voltage of about 1.5 volts or something. And if the signal is below, the VCO just uh, stops, it gets disabled. So disconnecting the, the source altogether or pulling it to ground has the same effect of decreasing the input signal below this voltage, disabling the VCO. Because of the resistance tolerances, op amp offsets and temperature and process variation, I included the option to tune both the offset and the scaling. So you can tune both the 1.35 uh, offset so that your C0, your lowest node is exactly where it should be. But also the scaling uh, that should be around 0 0.44. Uh, you can tune that as well. And this is the same basically as tuning intonation on guitar. So that really your octaves, when you're playing octaves on your keyboard, it really translates to playing octaves uh, from the VCO. These tunings are implemented through uh, potentiometer trimmers. And as you can see, there is a third one, which is just at attenuation um, of the incoming filter cutoff signal. Okay, let's go ahead and play play some tunes on this. I'm gonna use a um, sequencer from the microbird so I can play around with the knobs without 
having to play uh, the keys, but uh, yeah. Okay, so currently the cutoff signal is connected to the envelope generator of the microboot, so uh, let's increase the envelope amount. You can hear the filter opening up and maybe increase the attack time to get the swells. Maybe reduce the BPM so you can really hear the swells. You can also connect the cut of the LFO. Okay, now. There is uh, one problem here uh, that I wasn't thinking of when I was designing the interface. Because of the internal bias voltage, uh, the LFO that I'm presenting on is centered around uh, zero volts. So it's always negative compared to uh, the 1.35 bias. So uh, it's gonna pull, it's like, it's gonna pull the filter cut off way lower than it should be. It's not gonna be oscillating around the set value that I have on the monotron, but it's gonna be uh, much lower and then sometimes when I increase the amount sometimes the peaks are gonna cross and you can hear it but it's not ideal right now you can just hear the the peaks of the LFO sinusoidal signal crossing the well increasing the voltage cutoff so that you can hear it but most of the signal is uh, lost If we increase the uh, DC amount by the potentiometer, we can hear the effect of LFO a little bit better. Let's try some higher frequencies with LFO to approach uh, frequency modulation. Maybe let's try adding some delay. Okay, let's connect it back to envelope just to see how it sounds with delay.
the last feature I want to show off is the internal LFO uh, routing out and being used by something else. So right now I connected the um, LFO output of the Monotron into the uh, filter input of the uh, microbrute. Actually, I lied in the beginning and the sounds that you're going to hear are being produced by the microbrute, but they're just to um, demonstrate the effect of the Cork Monotron's LFO on the filter of microbrute. I'm actually going to turn this around so I can control the LFO amount. Mm -hmm. Let's go all the way down. Um, so the interval knob is just internal uh, resistor. It doesn't affect the output signal of the LFO. So the LFO amount is set coming from the uh, monotron. Okay, um, that is all. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in the project, the link is below the video. The, the link is uh, on GitHub. There's uh, schematics, uh, PCB layouts, production Gerber files um, in the description. And if you have any, any questions, feel free to reach out and ask. Thanks for watching.